Hey guys, my name is Russian Badger, and welcome to a video game that is not yet available in Europe. I find it quite humorous that the Swedish created this game, yet it's still not available in many parts of Europe. But, it does make me proud to be an American. I feel like saying something like, For America! Or, America! If you don't like it, you can get out! Some, something patriotic like that. And for some reason, these three blind Carls, or three blind mice, if you will, that cluster technique is not effective in most situations, and it's not even close to a phalanx. And I'd like to order doubles of the catfish, please, and for America, one more kill. And probably asking why I'm saying that, and <clears throat> for some reason, I associate the word Glock and the term Glock with America and crime in the United States. It's sort of a more... I, I think you guys realize this, that the way that I think about things and all the information swirling in my brain at any point in time, I have a very morbid way of linking things together, so as soon as I think of Glock, I think of people in Detroit, or hoodlums in Detroit, scratching or sanding off the serial numbers on their handguns to make them less detectable or less tr traceable or trackable by police. I don't, I don't know why I think that, but it's just the way that my brain works. And just so you guys know, compared to the beta, the Glock is significantly worse. In the beta, 18 rounds, hip fire that was tight as a drum, and I didn't order doubles. I don't know why they keep sending me doubles here, triples. I don't know why they keep sending me those. But in the beta, it was much better. Like I said, tight hip fire, 18 rounds. In the retail version, the real downside, that, the, or the nerf, if you will, is that the hip fire spread gets really, really wide very, very quickly when you start firing, and you just activated my trap card! I don't know if you guys ever played Yu-Gi-Oh, but I felt like that as soon as I shot that gentleman directly in the torso, for some reason. I know it's odd that I would reference Yu-Gi-Oh, but I've always wanted to say that. And when I played Yu-Gi-Oh as a child, I never got the opportunity to say that. I always wanted to say that. I was just, you just activated my trap card. And if there's two things that I want to say in my life before I die, in proper context, it's that and... I never asked for this. For some reason, Adam Jensen, when he says that, and it's so applicable to so many different situations in our day-to-day -day life, I find it funny. And, Badger, why would you automatic fire that gentleman from there? That's just not a good idea. That's a lot like an idea of Nico Bellic driving his car off the Empire State Building. It's just not a good plan. You see, that certainly was not a good plan. Although that guy just did get headshotted, and I'm not really bragging about that. Certainly not a good idea for Nico Bellic to drive his car off of the Empire State Building. And yes, I am aware of the Grand Theft Auto V announcement update, and I am very excited. I'm so excited. Like, you guys know that I love the Grand Theft Auto series. It's not something that I would necessarily ever upload, but Grand Theft Auto is so enjoyable to me. A lot of you think that, or many of you, or many of my friends like to think that they're all the same, but I disagree. And you're looking like a f why are you MLG prone on the ground? Why? Don't understand why people go prone so often, despite the fact that I go prone more often than basically anybody else, but... That's more understandable from my perspective, because I'm attacking, and attacking is significantly more difficult on this map of Grand Bizarre, which is quite bizarre, by the way, I know. People are going to be making that joke until until Battlefield 4 comes out, so you should might as well just get used to it. And this is what I don't like about this map. Okay, let Carl go first so that I can get the guy second. That's off. Oh, that's such a good strategy, and that's that's really sound advice. Never go into the room first because you're always going to get shot in the face because there's always someone in a corner and there's always someone in the darkness. If you guys have not noticed this yet, maybe I just need to turn my brightness up and. I thought I could flank there, but clearly there's no flanking on this map. And look at this. You thought you were going to flank here? That's such a laughable matter. You actually thought you were going to flank there. Just, it's like a joke from DICE. It's like, you can't flank on this map. We might have like different little areas to the left and the right of the main route, but you're still going to get shot in the face in this one funnel. And this is the funnel right here. We are standing in the funnel. It's... 
somewhat frustrating. And yet again, I try to flank. You th you can't flank there. What are you trying to do, bro? Yet again. <clears throat> so, the choice is, we go straight forward here and we get shot in the face in this little archway. Or, we go to the left and we get shot in the face going left. It's really a tough decision. And yet again, the auto fire is really not the perfect use or... I want to say single fire would have been a better choice there, but then again, I think we all know that when you switch to single fire, you always inherently just get overrun by enemies and you have to tap, tap, tap because you don't have time to switch back to automatic. I think we all know what I'm talking about, but <clears throat> I do apologize. I'm sick and I don't know if you guys want to know this, but I just had a burrito and I asked the lady, okay, I said, I would like mild, mild salsa and she gave me something like i literally feel like i just ate a zippo lighter and i'm also i already told you that i was sick but eating that kind of hot sauce that is basically a zippo lighter while you're sick is very not good as I, I didn't even ask for doubles and yet again i got doubles for some reason but just to describe it to you my entire face feels like it's en fuego so it's sort of an odd situation for me right now being sick and having an increasing temperature in my entire face region, and that was ridiculous hip fire, by the way. I don't even know why that works so often. And uh, I don't know if that guy was drop shotting or not, but I see that sometimes, and it really is not all that effective. But I finally get taken down, and this is where I sort of got frustrated because I know the left flank is a little bit better, and here I get, you know, it's almost like the last stand where you get revived and you can still use your pistol until you die or you choose to stand up and then get shot in the face immediately, it's kind of your choice, but it's frustrating because I know the left flank is, it's not quite the same funneling, but there's still, it's a little bit more open, but still there's the same chance, or at least in my mind, the same probability of you getting taken down going the left route anyways. And look, you've always got somebody lurking in your spawn ready to shoot you in the back. It's very, very annoying. You would think that a good, I don't know, maybe f four to five minutes after we've already taken the first set of objectives, the guy would be out of the spawn, but I guess not. And that's fair game. I mean, he there's really no rule against that. Obviously, he can do that if he wants. It's kind of a catfish tactic, but he's allowed to do that. And this is where you really see that this has the Operation Metro Syndrome, this map. It's too funneled. It's like Port Valdez's uglier sister that is somehow in the city. I would almost take Port Valdez over this because Port Valdez has the ability to push through with vehicles. You have that huge T90, you got the AA gun, you got the Vod... Nobody actually uses the Vodnik other than me and Port Valdez for some reason, but it's just frustrating. And then you've got all these guys... It's like basically me right here on the opposite side doing the exact same thing that I'm doing. It's almost like clipping or like head glitching, just like right there. And I'm going to go ahead and switch up to single fire here because I'm using the heavy barrel attachment. And I don't know if you guys know about the heavy barrel attachment, but it gives you a lot more recoil while you're aimed down sights. So you might want to switch to single fire if you can. And yet again, I try to flank. You can't flank that way. What are you trying to do? It's... It, it's... It's aggravating that they... They give you this false sense of hope. Oh, maybe if I go down this corner where I can flank around this choke point that's in this hallway, I guess not. And I'm, I'm not trying to bag on a game that is so great. And maybe it's, it's only this map. Like, the other maps are so much better than this one. But the other ones take a long time to really get a lot of action into them. And they're a lot more drawn out. Like, I would have to show you a good 25 to 30 minute game to really have a lot of action in it and be entertaining at the same time. And that's very lengthy for a lot of you. So I'm really trying to assess Battlefield 3 and what I can really get from it. But this was just frustrating. Just overall. And Wesley... Snipes. Nice one. First one on Battlefield 3. I feel good, but that's that's the situation what I'm talking about right there. Is where I s had single fire on. I forgot about it. And then I only fired once at the guy that was in the corner. And then I said... Oh no, better start tapping really, really quickly. And that's imminently what what always happens to me when I switch to single fire, and that's that's all she wrote. So <coughs> I apologize how goofy this commentary was. I'm studying very, very rigor 
rigorously for midterms and I only had a few hours to play and I only had about 20 minutes to record this so hopefully you guys can understand and I'll the next video that I upload I'll not have hot sauce all over my face and I won't be sick and I will, I'll, I'll get better footage for you guys on map on a map that I actually enjoy so thank you for bearing with me through this commentary guys I will see you guys next time Auf Wiedersehen Abyss Balt, and I don't know what your bonus clip is, but I'm sure it's going to be odd. So, thank you guys for watching, and later!